Time for the next match. We're seeing uh, Aaron. We're seeing a Swingle and a Yanma for the blue team. And Red's Corner will be having a Polywag, Salamance, and Ekans. So looking at the, the type advantages, I'm I'm quite curious about how this will play out. I mean, the Dragon type very uh, good at defending, but if we're looking at Wingle, Wingle does have the Blizzard available to make advantage of the four times super effectiveness. That Blizzard will be able to hit into Salamance pretty hard, as uh, well as Yama having Air Slash over there, having a chance to also critical, uh, not critical hit, uh, flinch that Salamance, preventing it from being able to hit back at all. Yeah, that's the best. That's the best way, right? If your opponent doesn't hit you, you get to hit him. And uh, Wingle does have massive speed. Also has Rain Dish available. So if needed, uh, they they can actually set that up as well. But before we get to that Salamance stuff, Poliwag will get things going here for the red corner, and it will be hitting into that air on there for a surf that could be super effective. So either the blue corner is going to stay in and take a big hit, or they're going to have to switch out. Yeah, I would say stay in, rock polish, and then uh, perhaps do massive damage with head smash or uh, super power. Like, the, the issue is the steel rock type is probably only effective against Ekans, but Ekans has mud bomb to just destroy him. Aeron does have Head Smash there that can be hitting into that Salamance for super effectiveness, so maybe they will want to switch into Wingall here, take a reduced damage hit from Surf, and then maybe save Aaron for the Salamance. Mm, possible. Or they can actually... Uh, <laughs> that happens. Um, they, they can actually set up for uh, Growth instead, or Hypnosis, on Poliwag if they can uh, outplay their opponents, but it's going to take a lot of coordination from the red team in order to do so. Lots of options as for both teams here as we hit the 30 second mark. If we're actually looking like uh, looking at the uh, the bets here, Love Susie will have most control in this uh, match, but uh, Sabbath of Darkness is currently the only one inputting uh, inputting. So it it will all come down to whether or not he can actually well, make it happen because. The blue team does not have that much time to respond to uh, what the red team does. It will take quite a bit of coordination for the red team here as we get the battle underway. Let's see what Coliseum we're going to be at. Well, if we're actually looking at the uh, the red team, this is a good uh, spread for them. If they decide to switch, then they have Psychic and Hypnos. They, they have a chance. Um, the blue team can't really make a good strategy uh, based on what the red team is inputting, although we just saw someone removing the input, so it's now purely psychic. Uh, so so the red corner is going to get us started here. It looks like there's going to be a switch into the Ekans. That's an interesting one, but this is, this is somewhat scary because Ekans now will take a free hit here from Aaron. That's, I, I'm not entirely sure if that is what they were looking for, but they do have Mud Bomb and Sledge Bomb lined up. <laughs> if Slitch one gets chosen, that would be really bad for the red team. Aaron hits in with an Iron Head, potentially trying to get a flinch here on this Ekans. Uh, Ekans does get uh, some health back from Citrus Berry and gets the Mud Bomb off, so that's nice. That should get a little bit of a uh, Curacy drop, actually. Well, forget a Curacy. If your opponent is not there, it cannot hit you. So with one big hit, Ekans will knock out Aaron, and the blue corner will need to switch in a new Pokémon. Yeah, it looks like uh, they are most likely going to be going for the uh, Yanma here, which has Psychic of it against the uh, Ekans, so that's a massive hit that they can do. The speedy Pokémon for the blue corner comes in. Yanma attacks first, and it's going to be an Air Slash. That's a lot of damage. Almost takes down Ekans, but Psychic... Oh, it flinched! It actually flinched, and that is exactly what the blue team needed. So with that timely flinch, Yanma will likely finish off Ekans here, but... Having hold. Oh no! It gets the 5% miss, so Ekans will get a chance to retaliate, and it gets a Sludge Bomb off. Slimes by uh, Sludge Bomb, but at the same time, this, this is the risk you take when taking a, uh, a move that doesn't have 100% accuracy when you could have gone for the Bug Buzz, which should have uh, popped Ekans or the uh, Psychic. So, Yama now switches over to the Psychic, finishing off the Ekans. Yeah, but, but that's. Yeah. Too late, I guess. Because this is massive damage that he has taken already. Yeah, that sludge bomb there has now knocked Yama down to around half health. It may not only be able to, it may be only be able to take one more hit before it goes down. Mm. Yeah, and they're most likely going to be running into the Salamence next, so the air slash might be exactly what they need. 
because I believe Air Slash is still uh, is not physical. It's a special move, right? Yes, uh, Air Slash is a special move, and Yama will use it, hitting into the Salamence, hoping to get another flinch. And he does. So this is really good, actually, now for the blue team. This should be enough for them to take uh, home the vi uh, the prize, but. The red team, they also had the option to go for the Tailwind instead, and set up for a turn after. Well, unfortunately, the flinches have prevented that Tailwind from being able to be set up, as Salamence will get to retaliate here with the Dragon Claw, and that... Oh, I think Yama was able to hold on! Incredible. That That is quite a bit of luck there for the blue team, and this might just spell doom for the red team. Um, I don't know if the bug bus actually kills, because it actually has flying, so it will get resisted. But it goes down anyhow. So with that last hit, it looks like Salamence will be going down and Poliwag will have to try to clutch it here for the red team. Well, they, it, it can, but it needs to set up first. It needs to get the Psychic in and then set up with Hypnosis and Growth. So Poliwag takes to the battlefield once more as Yama is holding on at 5 HP. I'm not entirely sure if you want to go for the Air Slash here with Yanma. Uh, the flinch is nice, but Bug Buzz might just uh, have the ability to confuse. And with that Psychic, Yanma will faint, so it'll come down to Wingull. Both water Pokémon from each team will be the last ones out. Now, back to... Yeah, indeed, Wingle. It, it, it's all going to come down to Air Slash and Hypnosis. Wingle, by nature, is faster than Poliwag. If they can get that Hypnosis down because of the miss on Air Slash, then Red Team has a very good chance to win. But it actually hits, that should be game, and it is. One final Air Slash from Wingle will knock out Poliwag, and the blue corner will take the victory. And so we head into the side game again, Blue Team. Congratulations on the 50% payout. And you could say this match was a great success for Blue Team. Indeed, it was a great success. Love Susie played that match very nicely. Well done. So we go back to the um, to the Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. I think the next input here is going to be the one where everything starts to just collapse and we get the win. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious when that will happen. Uh, most likely, the blue. Yeah, they're going to move the. Um, the they're going to switch these, and the uh, blue ones will collapse. That collapses the red ones. That collapses the blue ones. That collapses the yellow ones, and that collapses the entire thing. It's pretty neat. It is pretty neat, but it's going to take like a half an hour to watch it happen. Well, but at the very least, we're making progress, which is which is more than we can say about which is more than we can say about. I, I need to find something that's funny, but not uh, demoralizing. I gotcha. It can be challenging at times. 